y'all doing? It's me, Amazing Sylvia, and happy hump day. My um, Be Amazing Hump Day Chronicles are back. I'm sure you guys have missed them, but I had death in my family, so I took some time off. So I'm back because that's what she will want me to do, to keep pushing forward. So um, every Wednesday, I do um, Be Amazing Sylvia Chronicles. I choose a topic, I talk about it, and I tell y'all how it really feels. So, I have chosen my topic for this week, and my topic is 25 things you should do in your lifetime. Life is short, y'all, and tomorrow is not promised. So, we need to live life to the fullest. So, here are 25 things I'm suggesting you should do in your lifetime. Live life to the fullest. We definitely need to. The first thing I suggest everyone to do, do something nice for someone, but don't tell them you did it. You know, just do something. Bless somebody, but don't tell them you did it. Don't get recognition for it. Just do it. It'll be amazing. Just sit there and do something nice for someone. They don't even know who did it, but they got a blessing. So, that's my first one. All right, my um second one, climb a mountain. Lord knows. <laughs> I can't climb no mountain, but I suggest we should try it. Man, I don't have the energy and the stamina to do a mountain, but one day I'm going to try it. I'm definitely going to try it. All right, I'm going to um, my next one. Try yoga. I have tried yoga. I did hot yoga. It was a hot mess. <laughs> oh my God, it was a hot mess. Man, these people, these women was up in there holding these positions. I'm heaving like a sweating pig. It was crazy. I did try yoga, but try yoga you might like it it just wasn't for you girl it wasn't for me so the next thing break leaves into a big pile and then jump in them oh my god my baby girl did that to my husband years ago he was outside raking leaves i think she was about six and um my husband never discipline the kids you know he let them do what they want he fuss at them a little bit but he don't discipline i'm the disciplinarian i gotta put the put the belt down and you know tell him no you can't do this and that anyway so he out there raking leaves the baby girl jumping them leaves they went everywhere <laughs> he was like don't do that again so he went back raked them again and guess what girlfriend jumped in them leaves again and he was like, I'm not playing with you. You better stop it. Because, you know, that's a lot of work breaking all those leaves. She did it. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just thinking back to it. She did it a third time. And she ran in the house because she knew she was in trouble. I was in the house. And her older sister was in the house. She, like, squares in between me and her sister. And he came stomping in there. I'm like, what is going on? And he actually whipped her butt that time. He had never in his life did anything. He was mad. He spanked her butt. He tapped her butt. He didn't even hear her heart. You know, she hollered and cried like somebody killed her. I was like, girl. And then she, after she calmed down, she told me what she did. I said, you know better. You know better. But anyway, <laughs> jump into a big pile of leaves. She loved it. She kept doing it until she got in trouble. Um, another, another thing I suggest you do once in your life, step outside your comfort zone. Try a new food, go somewhere different, do new things. We all need adventures. So step outside that comfort zone and do something you never did before. You should learn how to play an instrument. I really want to play the guitar. Can you imagine? I'm rocking. Yes, I want to learn how to play the guitar. And I think I might just do that. 
to learn how to play an instrument. The next one, learn a dance. I learn dances every day because my baby girl, she on a TikTok and she was like, do this, do that. So she got me doing all this crazy stuff. So I be learning dances all the time. I don't retain how to do them. I forget how to do them, but I do learn them. So it'd be cool to learn a dance. Learn something. Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's go. Another thing you should do, read an entire, entire book series. Oh, my God. I read a book series. It was phenomenal. It was about vampires. I forgot what it was. It was a full book series. And I couldn't put the books down. As soon as, like, you know, you finish one series, like, oh, I got to go get the other one. I got to go get the I love reading book series. It's always because the story always connect. So I want to advise you guys to read a, um, a series. It'll be fun. Make homemade ice cream. I have never made homemade ice cream, and I keep saying I'm going to buy me an ice cream maker, and I'm going to do it. But I think I should do this. So I'm going to make me some homemade ice cream. I'm going to do this one. Definitely going to do this one. All right. Next one, go to a parade. Me and my family used to go to parades all the time. We used to sit out there at the Christmas. We have an annual Christmas parade in our um, state. And it's so awesome, but it's cold, man. Cause you know, it's December, it's cold. You sitting out there mm, taking in a parade, but nothing like a nice parade. All the colors, the balloons and everything. Okay, another thing you should do, experience a new way to travel. You know, don't just get in your car, travel by different means, do different things. It'll be an experience for you. I think we all should do it. Definitely we should do it. Alrighty. On to the next one. Blow bubbles. Me and my baby girl used to blow bubbles all the time. And the fur baby participated. Baby girl used to blow the bubbles. And the dog used to jump in the air and try to bite the bubbles. It was so much fun. I suggest y'all go to Wally World or wherever you shop, get a thing of bubbles. Just go outside and blow some bubbles. It is so, so fun, I promise you. Swim in an ocean, lake, or stream. All right, I'm telling y'all this, but your girl be amazing. If my feet ain't touching the bottom, I ain't swimming. No, I can swim a little bit. Probably, I'm like a, I guess a mid-experienced swimmer. I can swim underwater and on top. But if my feet ain't touching the bottom, y'all, I panic. I panic. So, I don't think I'll be going in the ocean because it ain't no bottom. <laughs> a lake or a screen, it's no bottom. My feet can't touch the bottom. But I suggest you guys do it. Just because I'm a scaredy cat. You guys don't have to be. All right, take a trip to a state that does not border your own state. Road trip. You know, I was telling my husband, we need to do a road trip. We need. To, we have not been to all 50 states. So this is a good idea. Yes, take a trip to another state that you haven't been to. Go ahead and do it. Should be fine. Road trip. Another suggestion or another thing you should do, fly a kite. My God, I try to fly a kite. I guess the wind won't cooperate because my, uh, my kite was just laying there and I kept trying to get it in the air and it wasn't working. So I got frustrated with it and I don't have any patience. So I think that's something I need to revisit, fly a kite. I really do. Another thing, make a list of 10 things you like about yourself. Make that list. After I do this video, I'm gonna make that list because I love me. So I'm gonna make a list, 10 things I like about myself. I'm gonna definitely do this one. All right, let's see, my next one. Check out the view from the top of one of the world's tallest buildings. I think that'll be a cool, cool view. 
you just ride up up the elevator because lord knows you can't walk all them steps and just take a view from the tallest building in the world would be amazing i think we all should do that learn how to whistle i can't whistle <laughs> i cannot whistle <clears throat> i'm gonna attempt it for you That's the best you're going to get. So, I need to learn how to whistle. That is the best you will get from me. Conquer a fear. Oh, my God, y'all. My fear, my worst, my, my top fear are rats. I can't conquer that fear. I guess I won't achieve this before, you know, I leave this earth. But I can't. I can't, y'all. Rats, oh my God, I see them on TV, I freak out. Can you imagine me seeing one up close or alive <laughs> in my face? I will pass out. I, I know I will pass out. Oh, I hope y'all can conquer a fear because that fear, I can't. I truly can't. I'll spaz out. Another one, build a sand castle. When we used to go to the beach, we used to build sandcastles. Sometimes they stood up and sometimes they didn't. We used to bury the kids in the sand, all the way up to their neck. And they loved it. We had sand everywhere, but it was fun. It was definitely fun. So, complete a puzzle with 500 pieces or more. I love puzzles. I am a puzzle fanatic and I will sit down, I will work on a puzzle and I will just work on it till I get it. I love working on puzzles and it's, it relaxes my mind. So complete a puzzle y'all. Lie in a hammock. Oh my God. And watch the world pass by. I went to Jamaica and I was in a hammock um, because I'm an early riser and the rest of the family was still asleep. And I laid in a hammock and I just rocked back and forth. It was just the best feeling ever. Do you hear me? Ever. Go ahead and lie in a hammock. Hammock, sorry. But just make sure you can get in. I had to roll my big booty up in there. It wasn't pretty, but I got in there. <laughs> okay. Um, another thing, canoe, kayak, or float in a tube down a river. Me and water, y'all know we don't agree, but I have been in a kayak. I've been in, I think my husband was directing it. So it was pretty cool, but I was like, we out here in the middle of the water. If this kayak turn over, Lord have mercy. It's no bottom. <laughs> yeah, phobias, y'all, phobias. Your girl got phobias. Learn how to do a cartwheel. Your girl used to know how to hit them cartwheels. My big butt, I can't, I can't flip over no more. I'm scared I'm gonna fall and break something. But when I was younger, I used to do cartwheels. I used to get them. I go like three and four in a row. I try to do one when my um, youngest was younger, and she used to do them. She like do it, mommy. I did a half a cartwheel. Look a hot mess because I was scared to do it. I was, I'm just scared to do them now. I used to do them without no fear. I used to be reckless. I ain't reckless no more. Okay. And the 25th thing you should do during your lifetime, stay up all night. Just stay up all night. Y'all, I be tired. But staying up all night is the best thing ever. You can stay up, you can talk, you can look at TV, you can do all kinds of things. Eat, just have a good time. Stay up all night and enjoy life. Y'all, those are my um, 25 things you should do during your lifetime because life is too short and tomorrow is not promised. So you should live each day to the fullest. I live each day to the fullest. Because we just doing these hard times. 2020 been hard. And, you know, we have had a lot of deaths. We have had a lot of just unfortunate things happen in 2020. 2020 needs to be over. So, you need to live your best life. Do these things. 
Do 25 amazing things you never did. Things you should do. Things you should experience. I am Be Amazing Sylvia. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I hope you pick up a couple of these and, and do them. Go ahead and do them. Don't be a scaredy cat like me when I was talking about some of those things. Just do it. Just do it like Nike says. So, thank you all for watching. Peace and blessings. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do have a membership. Come on over and join it. I'm going to do giveaways. I'm going to give away money, baby. I'm going to give away prizes. Yes, I'm going to do holiday giveaways. So, if you would like to join my membership, we have perks and we're going to have giveaways. So, you're more than welcome to come through. Thank you. And remember, today is a great day to be amazing. Peace, y'all. Stay safe on these YouTube streets. And remember to support and love one another. I'm out.